What's up everybody, welcome back to Casual Lad. Did you know that you can already get week 2 crates now? Metaverse Champions week 2 only starts on 22 April, but you can already start to collect the crates. Although the event has not started, the games involved are already updated with the Metaverse Champions crates. As the number of games available now is still in very early release, I have found a few of the games that are pretty simple to clear. If you can't wait to clear them, continue watching to see how you can clear them easily. But before we move on, consider smashing the subscribe button and like this video to support me. I really appreciate your sub. The first game for Ren Brightblade is Death Run. Basically, you just need to reach the end of the race to get the crate. There will be a player chosen to sabotage your journey. Even so, the game is really simple. This is the first time I'm playing this game and I got first without dying. Now, even if you die, don't worry about it. You will play as a ghost and you still can reach the end and claim the crate. So don't give up after you die. However, if everybody dies, the round will end immediately. So as long as there is at least one person that is still surviving, go and complete the race even as a ghost. To show you how easy it is, I played a second time and still survived. There are also nice people who do not sabotage other players. The second game for Fei Yoshida is Field Trip Z. This is the easiest of all time. Seriously, you do not even need to play it. Just bought the bus, you get a badge when you are transported to your destination. Now on my screen, you don't see the badge award icon, but I have already got it. It doesn't show it sometimes, but here's the proof that I got it. just need to be transported from the yellow bus to get the badge. The third game is Survive a Plane Crash. It is not the easiest because it involves some snatching of items. Basically, you bought a plane and the plane will malfunction. And when you bought a plane, you can see the AJ Striker crate behind you. The entire round is actually quite long. You need to wait for a long time before the plane starts to malfunction. You can look out the window. Oh man, I haven't been on the plane for a long time ever since COVID started. A look at the runway, pilot intercom, and the takeoff. My god, I miss traveling. Once the plane starts to malfunction, oxygen masks will fall. Scavenge for any useful items, things like gliders or rockets will guarantee a survival. Pick them up. Now don't go to the safe if you are in a public server. Players are just killing each other there to get a spot in the safe. Grab an item and run around so that nobody hits you. If you don't have a game pass, 
you can't head to the cockpit to open the door. So just wait for the notifications to tell you that the doors can be opened. Open the door and jump out of the plane. I have a rocket, so I am going to use it when I almost hit the ground. Survive the crash and you will get the crate. You can look for the black box if you want, but it's not important. It is not actually black, it is this orange box here. The last game is Unicorn Orbi World. The Orbi is really simple. There are a lot of checkpoints around so it is okay even if you keep failing. Wow, this is cute. And the music sounds like a lullaby. There are a few places where I want to specially cover. When you see the two letters here, take the one on the right. Anything that is glowing and color changing can be stepped on so don't worry about it. For this checkered platform, step on the tiles that are dark pink in color. Now for these white platforms, the correct path is center, left, center. If you go on the wrong path, you will fall. Pick a portal. The correct order is center, right, and left. And don't touch the trees. The glowing platform will accelerate you. Head all the way to the end and interact with these pink whips here. You need to manually interact with it to get the crate. The process is not automatic. So do it now and don't touch anything else. The reason I tell you not to touch anything else is because once you step on this platform here, you will be transported away. And if you did not claim the crate, you gotta redo the orbi. Now, not that it is hard, but just remember to claim it. So there you go all four crates before the week starts. Now the hardest one here gotta be the AJ Strikers quest. You will need to snatch for items to survive the plane crash and other players can attack you. Alternatively, you can try be a toy as well. Basically, you just need to find four items and deliver them to AJ Striker. It seems to be a cooperation quest and it sounds easy. I have played it and I didn't include it as easy because you will not be able to find all the parts if others have already taken it. And sometimes we don't even know where the parts are thrown by other players. If you have a private server for survive a plane crash or be a toy, then it is going to be very easy. Their private servers are very very cheap. But if you have a friend or an alternate account, go for Chaos Clickers. You just need to fulfill a simple list of easy giveaway quests. That's it. Now look at my avada. I have all 4 crates even before week 2 started. However, take note that there won't be any points contributed to the champions or increase in the numbers on top of your avada's head. That is because the event for week 2 has not officially started. I wanna keep this video short so if you are wondering how to equip all 4 boxes at once, stay tuned for the next video. So that's it for today's video. Some of the games are definitely not the easiest, but this video is for those who want the crates even before the week starts. I will be curating 4 easiest games for week 2 soon. So stay tuned. Please leave a thumbs up if this video has helped you. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye!